All right, this one's gonna be, I think you might like it better, but there's different things, of course. So we've got that storm door again, really nice, can open, let that breeze through, but not any bugs. Okay, now it's a lot lighter on the paint. The carpet instead of the wood tile, like the carpet's in, in decent shape, but probably you'd end up changing it out over time. Tile entry here, but look at the ceiling. We've got that neat tongue and groove. It's actually got these beautiful large log beams running across and then that tongue and groove. So a little more cabiny in that aspect. It's got nice light and bright. It's the same floor plan, same setup. We've got the closet there. Everything's um, more white. That's not a beige color on the wall, right? No, it's more white. It is more white, but it is a little neutrally beige. It looks super white in the maybe a Navajo white. It's got a little beige tint to it. Now, you kind of got to imagine this one vacant because it's not decorated <laughs> cabin feeling at all with the little Pueblo here. But same basics, tub shower combo here okay. on this first bedroom. Again, imagine it empty. I'd probably replace it with like a, a durable laminate, waterproof laminate or something like that. Double closet. Doesn't show exactly the same as the other one, um, but it's it's definitely a good unit. Epoxy flooring here in the garage. Same setup as before where you've got the water heater and heater back here. This actually is where they had their fridge and it looks like this guy's using that as owner storage. Those are locked, so I can't get in, but you could put an extra fridge freezer here if you wanted to. It's pretty good space. So, back in. And we're gonna turn. So they've got these, um, it's just a cover, like the stained glass looking there, which I expect is to give a little privacy between them and the neighbors. I'd take them down first thing if it were me, but all about preference. This again, we're kind of just looking at bedroom and size. It's got the high ceiling just like the other one. Just a lot more light and bright. Um, I didn't even peek out what we've got out the window here. Let me see. Come on. It is just the, the neighbor's house here. So they are, I mean, the, the space, you're just going to see neighbors no matter what. And still just a really nice, quiet setting. So we're going to have our utility room to the left here. There's the last one actually had a little sink right there. This one just has the washer and dryer. Nice, spacious, open. And then into the living room. Again, that tongue and groove ceiling would definitely be the upgrade if you ask me. Now, the last house had the um, stack stone fireplace up to the mantle. We've just got more of a slate tile surrounding here on the gas fireplace. But you've still got that same layout, a little shelf up top there. Definitely lighter and brighter. I know the way the sun's coming in from the morning sun here is going to come in on this little porch. So it'd be nice to sit out there. Um, in the afternoons, it'll be shadier and more sun on the other side. Similar kitchen. I didn't pay attention to the countertops. These are a laminate countertop. They've got some rust coloring in them that looks pretty cool. Um, man, I just don't remember... This isn't as upgraded of the cabinetry. They had the hickory ones with the knots right in them. This is more of an oak cabinet. Similar sizing. They're large and spacious, just a different style. We had stainless appliances on the last one. These are Whirlpool, Whirlpool, and all white appliances. <clears throat> Same sink. So now we're, our view is out to the street of neighboring properties, but it'll be quiet and a lot less traffic. I'll take you out there. The wallpaper could come down for sure. 
Actually, both of these are pretty good choices. The other one's a little more ready to go day one for what you guys have been looking for. I think this is one that um, the location is, in my opinion, just a little bit better. I know you've got more forested view, but you've also got that street running through all day long where there's traffic. So here's, I'm just going to be quiet and let you listen right now. You can still hear a little bit of traffic out there, but it's definitely a different setting, especially not seeing it. It just feels more peaceful and calm. So this is your exterior porch area, and then that door goes into the master suite. So again, that morning sun on this porch, you'll get quite a bit. Of, it feels beautiful. <laughs> it feels wonderful right now. Lots of sunshine in the morning. And then in the afternoon, evenings, you'll get it more on the front side of the house. Okay. And then the master suite here. That view, again, is going to be just more of the street and other um, homes rather than out toward. You won't see the, the traffic driving by. Like we will on the other. So I think it just comes down to preference, guys. Both of them, they're very similar units. Um, one's a little bit more ready to go with your taste and style. I really just don't feel like this is your taste and style. But they'll be moving everything out prior to close anyway. So it just kind of depends how you want to set it up. Again, we've got double vanity here. So it's that same countertop that's a laminate that's in the kitchen it's just got little flecks of like um it looks really pink in what I'm photographing here but in real life it's just got some really pretty rust tones to it like a almost looks like a slate slate style laminate and I'll have to go back and look through the video see what the other one was full shower here and then also water closet Boy, that purple rug just stands out, doesn't it? Decor makes a difference. <laughs> it certainly does. And then same size on this walk-in master. Okay, so that is it. We've got both of them here on Timberline just across the street from each other. Tiny bit of a price difference. Um, definitely differences, but just depends on which one you guys prefer. I'll get these sent over to you. Talk soon.